discuss the second part of photosynthesis. Are we will discuss about photosynthetic process. Then what is light reaction? Light reaction kya hoti hai? Light independent reaction kya hai? Nature of light kya hai? Light quality kaise affect karti hai plants ko? Uh, then we will discuss about absorption and action spectrum of photosynthesis. Then immersion red drop and immersion enhancement effect. Photosystems के बारे में पढ़ेंगे और photophosphorylation के बारे में पढ़ेंगे. So let's start. First, what is photosynthetic process? Uh, photosynthetic जो process है, it involves reduction of carbon dioxide. इसमें जो CO2 है, उसकी reduction होती है into carbohydrate. और जो वाटर मॉलिक्यूल है इसकी ऑक्सीडेशन होती है जिसके रिजल्ट से ऑक्सीजन प्रोड्यूस होती है सो ड्यूरिंग फोटोसिंथेसिस वाटर इज ऑक्सीडाइज्ड टू प्रोड्यूस ऑक्सीजन और जो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड है वो रिड्यूस हो जाती है टू फॉर्म कार्बोहाइड्रेट दैट इज ग्लूकोज सो दिस इज द बेसिकली द फोटोसिंथेटिक प्रोसेस इट्स नॉट दैट मच सिंपल इट्स अ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसेस सो इन दिस picture we can see the reaction of photosynthesis and so there are 12 molecules of water and also production of six molecules of water so in the presence of sunlight carbon dioxide and water combine to form this glucose and oxygen and water so this is the basic reaction of photosynthesis Photosynthetic process consists of two parts. One is light reaction, जो कि thylakoid में होती है chloroplast के, और इसका जो main function है वो है formation of ATP and NADPH, जो chemical form of energy है जिसको assimilatory power भी कहा जाता है, and that form of energy is used in light independent reaction और dark reaction जिसको कहा जाता है. इसकी जो site of occurrence है that is stroma. स्ट्रोमा में क्यों होता है ये क्योंकि जो भी एंजाइम्स हैं लाइट इंडिपेंडेंट रिएक्शंस के वो सभी स्ट्रोमा में प्रेजेंट होते हैं लाइट रिएक्शन में हम दो चीज़ें डिस्कस करते हैं एक है नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन जिसको जेड स्कीम भी कहा जाता है और दूसरा साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन वाइल इन केस ऑफ डार्क रिएक्शन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कैलविन साइकिल जिसको सी थ्री साइकिल कहा जाता है दैन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सी फोर साइकिल ऑल्सो नॉन एज हैच एंड स्लैक पाथवे And finally, we will discuss about crystallization acid metabolism. आज का हमारा focus रहेगा light reaction पे. In next slide, एक animation है जिसमें light reaction के बारे में and थोड़ा सा briefly बताया गया है. So look at look for that animation carefully. And next, we will start in detail. Photosynthesis consists of two sets of reactions: the light-dependent reactions and the Calvin cycle. Within the chloroplast are small disc-like structures called thylakoids, which are surrounded by a fluid-filled space called the stroma. The reactions that synthesize glucose, the Calvin cycle, occur in the stroma. The light-dependent reactions occur in the thylakoid. It is here that conversion of light energy to chemical energy is initiated. In most photosynthetic organisms, Thylakoids contain pairs of photosystems, called photosystem 1 and photosystem 2, that work in tandem to produce the energy that will later be used in the stroma to manufacture sugars. The photosystems of the thylakoid consist of a network of accessory pigment molecules and chlorophyll, the molecules that absorb the photons of light. Within the pigment molecules, the absorbed light energy excites electrons to a higher state. Photosystems will channel the excitation energy gathered by the pigment molecules to a reaction center chlorophyll molecule, which will then pass the electrons to a series of proteins located on the thylakoid membrane. Photons of light strike photosystems 1 and 2 simultaneously. We will examine what happens with the photons striking photosystem 2 first. 
The energized electrons are passed from the reaction center of photosystem 2 to an electron transport chain. The electrons lost by photosystem 2 are replaced by a process called photolysis, which involves the oxidation of a water molecule producing free electrons and oxygen gas. While this oxygen gas is a byproduct of photosynthesis, it is an important input to the cellular respiration pathways. As electrons pass through the electron transport chain, the energy from the electron is used to pump hydrogen ions from the stroma to the thylakoid, creating a concentration gradient. This gradient powers a protein called ATP synthase, which phosphorylates ADP to form ATP. The low energy electrons leaving photosystem 2 are shuttled to photosystem 1. Within photosystem 1, low energy electrons are re energized and are passed through an electron transport chain where they are used to reduce the electron carrier NADP to NADPH. First, light reaction, light phase भी कहा जाता है, photochemical phase भी कहा जाता है इसको. This process is very quick और ये complete होता है 0.0001 second में. This is a very quick process. इस process में oxygen evolve होती है और assimilatory powers बनती हैं, that is ATP and NADP. So this is the main motive of light reaction. Light reaction का main काम है oxygen evolve करना और assimilatory powers, that is ATP और NADPH. बनाना इसको हम दो फेजेस में डिवाइड कर सकते हैं एक है फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन और दूसरा है फोटो केमिकल फेज फोटो ऑक्सीडेशन में मेनली जो लाइट एनर्जी है दैट इज एब्सॉर्ब और इसको ट्रांसफर किया जाता है एसेसरी पिगमेंट से रिएक्शन सेंटर में दैट विल डिस्कस इन पिगमेंट सिस्टम एंड इट लीड्स टू एक्टिवेशन ऑफ फ्लोरोफिल मॉलिक्यूल सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ लाइट रिएक्शन सेकेंड पार्ट है फोटो केमिकल फेज इसका मेन फंक्शन है फोटोलिसिस ऑफ वाटर फोटो मीन्स लाइट लिसिस मीन्स ब्रेक डाउन सो बाई यूजिंग लाइट वाटर मॉलिक्यूल इज ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू हाइड्रोजन आयन एंड ऑक्सीजन मॉलिक्यूल दैन नेक्स्ट जो फोटो केमिकल फेज में इलेक्ट्रॉन ट्रांसपोर्ट होता है फॉर द सिंथिस ऑफ एसिमिलेटरी पावर दैट इज ए टी पी एंड एन ए डी पी एस टू सो दिस इज अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट लाइट रिएक्शन नेक्स्ट इज लाइट इंडिपेंडेंट रिएक्शन जिसको डार्क रिएक्शन भी कहा जाता है और बायोकेमिकल फेज भी कहा जाता है इट मेनली इन्वॉल्व्स कन्वर्जन ऑफ और वी कैन से फिक्सेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू फॉर्म कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो जो ए और एन हैं एन ए हैं विच आर प्रोड्यूस एज अ रिएक्शन एट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ लाइट रिएक्शन दिस एनर्जी इज यूटिलाइज इन डार्क रिएक्शन दिस प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व्स कम्बिनेशन ऑफ सी and H2O to form carbohydrate like glucose. This is water molecule or carbohydrate carbon dioxide combined karte hain to form glucose molecule. So this picture shows light reaction. Light reaction mein oxygen banta hai or it leads to formation of these assimilatory powers and this assimilatory power is used in dark reaction to fix atmospheric carbon dioxide and convert into it into glu uh, glucose. और वी कैन से कार्बोहाइड्रेट जो कि यूटिलाइज करते हैं प्लांट्स फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनर्जी डार्क रिएक्शन को और कहा जाता है कार्बन फिक्सेशन आल्सो दिस प्रोसेस इज आल्सो नोन एज कार्बन फिक्सेशन नेक्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट नेचर ऑफ लाइट हमने लोअर क्लासेस में पढ़ा है जो लाइट का नेचर होता है दैट इज बोथ वेव एंड पार्टिकल लाइक और जो फोटोसिंथेसिस होती है दैट अकर्स इन विजिबल रीजन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम और उसकी जो वेवलेंथ होती है दैट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थ्री नाइनटीन एनोमीटर टू सेवन सिक्सटीन एनोमीटर सो दिस इज द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक स्पेक्ट्रम इसका जो ये वाला रीजन है नैरो रीजन दिस इज द विजिबल रीजन और इसमें जो वेव है दैट रेंजेज फ्राम थ्री नाइन्टी टू सेवन सिक्सटीन एनोमीटर्स इस रीजन में फोटोसिंथिस होती है so it represents the narrow region of electromagnetic spectrum 
and photon represents the each particle of electromagnetic radiation photons we can say these are the packets of energy and uh, this is responsible for the particulate nature of light and discrete packets of energy are known as photons or inko quanta bhi kaha jata hai jitni short wavelength hogi utni hi zyada energy hogi due to presence of its quantum so shorter the wavelength greater is the energy koi bhi pigment jis wavelength ko absorb karta hai that is the absorption spectrum of that pigment like chlorophyll ki wavelength ko absorb karta hai that will form the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll that we'll discuss in upcoming slide aur jo wavelengths light ki absorb nahi hoti hai they are reflected back and that uh, is responsible for the color of that particular part of the plant like this leaves jo hote hain wo green color ke hote hain because jo green light hai wo reflect back hoti hai that is not absorbed by the plant so that is responsible for the green color of leaf next we will discuss about the light quality as we all know that the most of plant shows photosynthesis in the visible range of electromagnetic spectrum और जो प्लांट्स फोटोसिंथेसिस शो करते हैं वो एक पर्टिकुलर वेवलेंथ पे शो करते हैं विजिबल लाइट की उस वेवलेंथ को कहा जाता है फोटोसिंथेटिक एक्टिव रेडिएशन और पी ए आर पार सो वेवलेंथ ऑफ लाइट यूज फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस इज़ 400 टू 700 नैनोमीटर नैनो मीटर और इसको कहा जाता है फोटोसिंथेटिक एक्टिव रेडिएशन और पार दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट जो मैक्सिमम फोटोसिंथेसिस होती है वो होती है रेड लाइट में और मिनिमम होती है ग्रीन लाइट और एवरेज जो फोटोसिंथेसिस होती है दैट अकर्स इन ब्लू लाइट ब्लू लाइट की वेवलेंथ कम होती है और इसकी एनर्जी ज़्यादा होती है और सबमर्ज जो प्लांट होते हैं वाटर में दे यूज दिस ब्लू लाइट फॉर देयर फोटोसिंथेसिस पर्पल बैक्टीरियाज हैव कैपेसिटी टू यूज अल्ट्रा वायलेट एंड इंफ्रावेड लाइट फॉर द फोटोसिंथिस वो यू वी और अल्ट्रा इंफ्रावेड लाइट को यूज़ कर सकते हैं फोटोसिंथिस में सो लाइट अफेक्ट्स द प्लांट्स इन थ्री वेज वन इज लाइट क्वान्टिटी अदर लाइट क्वालिटी एंड लाइट ड्यूरेशन ये तीनों फैक्टर्स डिटरमाइन करते हैं कि किसी प्लांट का बायोमास कितना होगा मॉर्फोलॉजी कैसी होगी और फ्लारिंग उसमें कब होगी सो ये हम डिटेल में पढ़ेंगे फोटो पीरियोडिज्म में next very important topic that is absorption and action spectrum so as we have already discussed absorption spectrum so the wavelength which is absorbed by any pigment represents the absorption spectrum of that particular pigment so what is absorption spectrum in this picture we can see here the wavelength of light which is absorbed by this carotenoid for example so this peak represents the absorption spectrum of carotenoid carotenoid is a pigment so it absorbs the light and and shows this peak in an instrument which is known as spectrophotometer and this these are the peaks of chlorophyll a and b so the light absorbed by these pigment at a particular wavelength represents the absorption spectrum of these pigments so it indicates the wavelength of light absorbed by each pigment absorb radiation can be quantified by an instrument jisko kaha jata hai spectrophotometer spectrophotometer ki help se hum ye pata laga sakte hain ki kaun sa pigment kaun si wavelength ko absorb karta hai and chlorophyll a and b absorb light in the red and violet portion of spectrum that we can see in this region this is the red or violet portion so chlorophyll a or b is region mein absorb karte hain light ko जो ग्रीन लाइट है दैट इज पोअरली एब्जॉर्ब सो दैट्स वाई जो ये पीक से इट इज फ्लैट हेयर फ्लैट है ये ग्रीन जो लाइट है वो एब्जॉर्ब नहीं करते हैं प्लांट्स फोटोसिंथेसिस के लिए एंड इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक एंड गिविंग द ग्रीन कलर टू द लीव सो दिस इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द ग्रीन कलर ऑफ लीव सो दिस इज द एब्जॉर्बन स्पेक्ट्रम विच मीन सिंपली इन एक्स एक्सिस दर इज वेब लेंथ एंड इन वाई एक्सिस इट इज अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट एब्जॉर्ब so simply the pigment which absorbs a particular wavelength 
represents the absorption spectra of that particular pigment. Action spectrum. So action repre uh, spectrum represents the amount of photosynthesis occurred on a particular wavelength. ये इंडिकेट करता है ओवरऑल रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस सिंपली कितनी कितने रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस है किसी पर्टिकुलर वेवलेंथ पे दैट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय दिस दिस एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम सो दिस इज द रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस सो किस वेवलेंथ पे कितना फोटोसिंथेसिस का रेट है दिस पीक इंडिकेट्स द रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस और जो ग्रीन लाइट का रीजन है दिस वन इसमें जो रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस है बहुत कम होता है नहीं के बराबर होता है सो so, uh, जो ये पीक्स हैं ये रिप्रेजेंट करती है एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम द अमाउंट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेटिक रेट एट अ पर्टिकुलर वेवलेंथ इट शोज द अमाउंट ऑफ सीओ टू फिक्सड और द अमाउंट ऑफ ओ टू इवॉल्व एट डिफरेंट वेवलेंथ्स ऑफ लाइट एक्शन स्पेक्ट्रम इंडिकेट करता है कितना कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फिक्स हुआ है और कितना ऑक्सीजन इवॉल्व हुआ है ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस सो रिलेटिव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर पिगमेंट इन फोटोसिंथिस कैन बी डिटरमाइंड and comparing by uh, and by comparing the absorption and action spectra uh, we can say so we can uh, understand the contribution of a particular pigment in the process of photosynthesis hum dono compare karenge absorption spectra bhi aur action spectra bhi in dono ko study karke we can uh, identify a particular pigment which is mainly responsible for the process of photosynthesis The next mechanism of photosynthesis that we have already discussed photosynthesis consists of two phases that is light phase and dark phase so, during the light phase this is the chloroplast the light reactions hain ye thylakoid mein hoti hai aur jo dark reaction hai it occurs in the stroma of chloroplast so in this light reaction jo light energy it is converted into these two assimilatory powers and in dark reaction or in light independent reactions mein ye assimilatory powers use hoti hain इसको हम कैलविन साइकिल कहते हैं बाई यूजिंग सी ओ टू इट इज फिक्स टू फॉर्म द शुगर कार्बोहाइड्रेट दिस इज द मेन मोटिव ऑफ फोरोसिंथिस टू फॉर्म द फूड मटीरियल इन प्लांट्स सो लाइट डिपेंडेंट रिएक्शन और फेज इज नॉन एज हिल रिएक्शन और फोटो केमिकल रिएक्शन लाइट डिपेंडेंट फेज सॉरी एंड लाइट इंडिपेंडेंट फेज इज नॉन एज कैलविन साइकिल और बायोसिंथेटिक फेज इट अकर्स इन स्ट्रोमा ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास्ट वाइल इट अकर्स इन थाइलापोइड ऑफ फ्लोरोप्लास्ट Next, we will discuss one important topic that is immersion red dwarf effect. Immersion or Louis the scientist थे उन्होंने chlorella के chloroplast को use किया to know the effect of various wavelengths of light on photosynthetic rate. So immersion and Louis in 1943 determine the quantum yield of photosynthesis under different wavelengths of light. Different wavelengths light की use की. What they found? उनके experiment से उन्होंने ये observe किया कि जब रेड रीजन से ऊपर वाली लाइट को हम अप्लाई करते हैं सो देर वॉज अ शार्प डिक्रीज इन रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस एंड दैट शार्प ड्रॉप इज नॉन एज रेड ड्रॉप इफेक्ट सो दे फाउंड अ शार्प डिक्रीज इन द क्वान्टम इल्ट और रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस एट अ वेवलेंथ ग्रेटर देन सिक्स एटी नैनोमीटर जो कि रेड रीजन की लाइट है जब रेड रीजन से ऊपर वाली वेवलेंथ की लाइट क्लोरोप्लास्ट में अप्लाई करते हैं सो देर वॉज अ sharp decrease in the rate of photosynthesis and that drop is known as a red drop uh, or immersion red drop effect so in this picture we can see here on the y axis there is quantum yield on x axis there is wavelength so this is the wavelength of uh, visible region and in this wavelength plant show photosynthesis this is commonly known as par par photosynthetic active radiation so initially with the increase of wavelength there was increase in the rate of photosynthesis up to this region that is up to 680 nanometer jab ye red region se upar wali light di jati hai so there was a sharp decrease in the rate of photosynthesis and this decrease is known as red drop or immersion red drop effect and he and the experimental material for this experiment was a green unicellular non motile algae chlorella so the decrease in photosynthetic yield beyond the red region of light spectrum is known as red drop this sharp decrease in the rate of photosynthesis is known as red drop effect
नेक्स्ट वॉज द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रीवियस एक्सपेरिमेंट उसको कहा जाता है इमर्सन एनहेंसमेंट इफेक्ट इमर्सन और उनके कोवर्कर ने इस एक्सपेरिमेंट को फर्दर एक्सटेंड किया और उन्होंने देखा कि जो फोटोसिंथिस फोटोसिंथिस का रेट है उसको इंक्रीज किया जा सकता है जब हम यूज़ करते हैं रेड लाइट ऑफ शॉर्टर वेव लेंथ एलोंग विथ फार रेड लाइट जब हम रेड लाइट और फार रेड लाइट दोनों को यूज़ करेंगे सो वी कैन इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस सो इन दिस पिक्चर वी कैन सी हेयर यहाँ पे जो फर्स्ट पीक है दैर इज ऑन सिक्स एटी नैनोमीटर दैट इज द रेड रीजन ऑफ लाइट देन देर इज अ शॉर्टर पीक इन सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर तो जब इंडिविजुअली हम लाइट दे रहे हैं इस रीजन की तो इसमें रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस ये शो कर रही है पीक इन रेड रीजन एंड इन फार रेड रीजन बट वैन दिस लाइट इज गिवन इन कॉम्बिनेशन दैट मीन्स साइमल्टेनियसली जब हम रेड और फार रेड रीजन की लाइट को इसमें फोटोस क्लोरोप्लास में देते हैं सो देर वॉज एनहेंसमेंट इन द रेट ऑफ फोटोसिंथिस सो दिस एनहेंसमेंट इज नॉन एज इमर्सन एनहेंसमेंट इफेक्ट सो द क्वान्टम एल्ड गेट्स एनहेंस्ड वैन लाइट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट वेव लेंस दैर इज लाइट ऑफ रेड रीजन एंड लाइट ऑफ फार रेड रीजन रेड रीजन सिक्स एटी नैनोमीटर एंड सेवन हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर इज गिवन साइमल्टेनियसली and that leads to the enhancement in photosynthetic rate that is known as immersion's enhancement effect aur isko kaha jata hai immersion's enhancement effect these observation leads to the discovery of two photosystems one is active in red region and other is active in far red region and they are named as photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 in order of their discoveries सो so, इस एक्सपेरिमेंट से ये क्लियर हो गया कि जो प्लांट्स हैं उनके पास दो फोटो सिस्टम्स होते हैं एक जो फोटो सिस्टम और पिगमेंट सिस्टम जो एब्जॉर्व करता है रेड रीजन की लाइट और दूसरा पिगमेंट सिस्टम एब्जॉर्व करता है फार रेड लाइट और जब हम इन दोनों लाइट्स के कॉम्बिनेशन में देते हैं सो देर वॉज अ शार्प इंक्रीज इन द रेट ऑफ फोटो और इसी को कहा जाता है इमर्सन एनहेंसमेंट इफेक्ट नेक्स्ट पिगमेंट सिस्टम जो इमर्सन का एक्सपेरिमेंट था उसकी ऑब्जर्वेशन से हमें ये पता चला था कि प्लांट्स में दो तरह के पिगमेंट सिस्टम होते हैं वन इज पिगमेंट सिस्टम वन एंड पिगमेंट पिगमेंट सिस्टम टू उनका नाम रखा गया है इन ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर डिस्कवरीज सो इमर्सन एक्सपेरिमेंट लेड टू द डिस्कवरी ऑफ फोटो सिस्टम्स फोटो सिस्टम वन एंड टू और ये दोनों काम करते हैं सीरीज में इन द वेरियस रिएक्शन ऑफ फोटो सिंथिस जो फोटो सिस्टम है ये बनता है दो चीज़ों से एक है रिएक्शन सेंटर और दूसरा है एंटीना मॉलिक्यूल्स जो रिएक्शन सेंटर है दैट इज़ द कोर कॉम्प्लेक्स और इसको लाइट हार्वेस्टिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स भी कहा जाता है सो so, जो ये असेसरी पिगमेंट्स हैं एंटीना पिगमेंट्स हैं ये लाइट को एब्जॉर्व करते हैं और इसको ट्रांसफ़र करते हैं रिएक्शन सेंटर को और रिएक्शन सेंटर फिर उसको इलेक्ट्रॉन्स uh, को ट्रांसफ़र करता है टू वेरियस इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरियर्स जो हम डिस्कस करेंगे इन अपकमिंग स्लाइड्स so each photosystem consists of a central core complex and a light harvesting complex central jo core complex hai that is reaction center aur jo light harvesting complex hai wo hai antenna molecules jo main function hai iska that is to harvest light energy and transfer it to the respective centers ye iska kaam hai light ko energy ko capture karna aur isko transfer karna reaction center mein जो फोटोसिस्टम्स हैं वो स्पेशली सेपरेटेड होते हैं इन मैम थाइलक और मेम्ब्रेन्स में दैट वुड डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट इज पोजीशन ऑफ फोटोसिस्टम्स सो फोटोसिस्टम्स थाइलक वाइड के मेम्ब्रेन्स में स्पेशली अरेंज होते हैं जो एप्रेस्ड मेम्ब्रेन है उसमें प्रेजेंट होते हैं दोनों फोटो सिस्टम दैट इज फोटो सिस्टम वन एंड फोटो सिस्टम टू और वायल इन केस ऑफ नॉन एप्रेस्ड मेम्ब्रेन ओनली फोटो सिस्टम वन इज प्रेजेंट अलॉन्ग विद ए टी so in this picture we can see here this is the, these are the appressed membranes or appressed membrane mein present hote hain dono hi photosystem photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 ye dono hi present hote hain appressed membrane mein while in non appressed membranes jo thylakoid ki non appressed membrane hai usme present hota hai sirf photosystem 1 along with atp synthase so this is atp synthase and this is photosystem 1 so these are found only in the non appressed मेम्ब्रेन जो पिगमेंट सिस्टम होते हैं दे आर मेड अप ऑफ 
antenna molecules and reaction center. So the photosystem or pigment system consists of two parts. One is antenna complex. Antenna complex bana hota hai chlorophyll molecule se or sabi other accessory pigment se. So in this picture we can see here the antenna uh, complex hai or antenna pigment molecules hai. They are chlorophyll along with carotenoids, xanthophylls and other pigments. Ye inka main function, ye, ye, antenna complex is made up of two parts. Outer part which will harvest the energy capture karega energy ko and the central core part that will transfer which is the integral part of this reaction center jo inner part hai wo ek integral part hota hai reaction center ka aur ye help karta hai harvested or captured energy ko transfer karne mein to the reaction center so it consists of two parts outer part jisko kaha jata hai lsc light harvesting complex ye help karta hai light ko harvest karne mein aur collect karne mein aur inner part जिसको कि कोर कॉम्प्लेक्स भी कहा जाता है विच इज़ द इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ रिएक्शन सेंटर रिएक्शन सेंटर का इंटीग्रल पार्ट है और इसका फंक्शन है ट्रांसफरिंग द एनर्जी टू द रिएक्शन सेंटर ये रिएक्शन सेंटर को एनर्जी जो कैप्चर्ड लाइट एनर्जी है उसको ट्रांसफर करता है सो दीज टू पार्ट्स वन इज़ एंटीना पिगमेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड सेकेंड इज़ रिएक्शन सेंटर जो कि मोस्टली क्लोरोफिल मॉलिक्यूल्स होते हैं लाइक क्लोरोफिल ए इन पिगमेंट सिस्टम वन इट इज़ पी क्लोरोफिल ए विच एब्जॉर्ब लाइट एज at the wavelength of P700 so this will form the reaction center of PS1 while in case of PS2 it is P680 chlorophyll A which shows the absorbance at this red region P680 this is the pigment system 2 reaction center one of the chlorophyll molecule the next we will discuss it in detail first is photosystem 1 this is also known as light harvesting complex 1 uh, uh, one is called in order of its discovery, it was discovered first. So it absorbs light of far red region that is greater than 680 nanometer, which is P700. So chlorophyll molecule which show the absorbance at P700, this is in, in a far red region. And it produces a strong reductant capable of reducing NADP positive. So it acts as a strong reductant, means it helps in the reduction of this NADP positive molecule to NADPH, H positive that we we'll discuss in non-cyclic photophosphorylation. So it consists of this reaction center which shows absorbance at P700 and these antenna complex molecules. Along with this, it is associated with the some electron acceptors that we we'll discuss in non-cyclic photophosphorylation. So primary electron acceptor in this case is Feridoxin, the primary electron acceptor is Feridoxin. It has about 50 carotenoids and 200 to 400 chlorophylls. So, this is the chlorophyll, it is more than carotenoid. This is present the cytochrome F or plastocyanin, which is a copper containing protein, which is present in the thylakoid membrane. And two cytochrome complex, one is cytochrome B 560. Then it has Feridoxin. Uh, reducing system and one or two membrane bounded ferridoxin molecules that we we'll discuss in non cyclic photophosphorylation. So, piece, uh, photosystem 1 is chlorophyll A show the absorbance at P700, that is the wavelength 700 nanometer, and it will form the reaction center, active reaction center. And it is located both in non oppressed part as well as in the oppressed part. Of the grana. So, the two parts are in the same way. We discussed the position. Iski. Then, it is associated with both cyclic and non cyclic transport. The uh, electron transport hota hai, that is cyclic as well as non cyclic. It is involved in the photosystem 1. So, this pigment system 1 is involved in both cyclic as well as non cyclic phosphorylation that we will discuss in detail. It is rich in chlorophyll A iron and copper so uh, ye jo uh, constant hai iske chlorophyll a hai iron hai copper hai is zyada hota hai pigment system 1 mein and it is not associated with photolysis of water to ye water ka breakdown kar, uh, karne ki jo machinery hai that is oec oxygen evolving complex is mein absent hota hai photosystem 1 mein and in case of photosystem 1 the first electron carrier is ferridoxin and it helps in the reduction of this nadp positive in 
to NADPH. Next is photosystem 2, pigment system 2 bhi khaja tha iska. It absorbs the light of this wavelength that is 680 nanometer, that is the light of red region and it produces strong oxidant while in case of photosystem 1 that produces strong reductant and it is capable of oxidizing water because it contains what machinery which is known as OEC oxygen evolving complex ka jata hai usko aur jo iska reaction center hai that is made up of this chlorophyll molecule which absorb which shows absorbance at p680 it is rich in chlorophyll b isme jo chlorophyll molecule hote hain zyada hote hain ya carotenoid 50 hain quinone is present then it also contain manganese and chloride ions and uh, a primary electron acceptor that is plus to quinone and two cytochrome complexes So this is the photosystem 2 which is associated with this complex which is known as OEC. It is known as oxygen evolving complex. It consists of manganese and chloride ion. In addition to this it contains calcium ion also. So these three ions helps in formation of this oxygen evolving complex. And its main work is the water breakdown and this produces oxygen. And the electron release they are channeled through different electron carriers like pheophytin we will discuss non-cyclic photophosphorylation it is located in the stacked part of grana we will discuss in the inner surface of membrane and it is associated with the non-cyclic electron transport while PS1 the pigment system 1 is in both of them cyclic and non-cyclic transport so this is associated with the photolysis of water because it contains the machinery that is known as OEC which is known as oxygen evolving complex. It contains OEC oxygen evolving complex and helps in photolysis of water and produces oxygen. Oxygen produce karta hai or its main function hai ATP synthesis ka or photolysis of water. So this is the main function of photosystem 2. Next is photophosphorylation. Photophosphorylation is a process of formation of ATP from ADP in the presence of light and inorganic phosphate. So process of formation of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate during the process of photosynthesis. So this is the reaction. ADP combined with inorganic phosphate in the presence of light and chlorophyll and give rise to ATP that is the energy currency. So, two types of photophosphorylation. One is non-cyclic photophosphorylation, and other is cyclic photophosphorylation. So, these are the main component of light reaction, or in ka jo main function hai, that is formation of energy currency ATP, assimilatory powers. So, first we will discuss about non-cyclic photophosphorylation, and it is also known by the other name that is Z scheme. Isko. सबसे पहले डिस्कवर किया था हिल और बेंडल ने और इसमें दोनों फोटोसिस्टम इन्वॉल्व होते हैं फोटोसिस्टम 1 और पिगमेंट सिस्टम 1 वी कैन से और फोटोसिस्टम 2 और इसमें जो रिएक्शन सेंटर है इनके वो दैट इज P700 दैट इज ऑफ फोटोसिस्टम 1 एंड P600 दैट इज ऑफ फोटोसिस्टम 2 सो दिस इज द पिक्चर व्हिच शोस दिस नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफोस्फोरिलेशन इसको नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफोस्फोरिलेशन क्यों कहा जाता है क्योंकि इसमें जिस रिएक्शन सेंटर से इलेक्ट्रॉन स्टार्ट करते हैं मूव करना दे विल नॉट कम अगेन टू दिस रिएक्शन सेंटर सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नॉन एज नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन सो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट आर पास्ड फ्रॉम रिएक्शन सेंटर आर नॉट रिटर्न बैक टू द सेम रिएक्शन सेंटर आफ्टर पासिंग थ्रू वेरियस इंटरमीडिएट्स सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नॉन एज नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफॉस्फोराइलेशन As we know that photosystem 2 act as a strong oxidant and it helps in oxidation of water. So P680 that is the reaction center of photosystem 2 in excited state by absorbing light act as oxidizing agent. It helps in oxidation of water that is photolysis of water and it is carried out by this photolysis of water is carried out by OEC which is known as oxygen evolving complex and it is made up of manganese, chloride and calcium ions. 
So firstly what happens initially this photosystem 2 this is the reaction center and this these are the antenna molecules when photons of light falls on this antenna molecules yes light ko harvest karte hain and it will send it to the reaction center and it goes into the excited state by absorbing this light energy so light of specific wavelength is absorbed by chlorophyll molecules and accessory pigments and is transferred to the reaction center of photosystem 2 that is p680 so ps2 by absorbing light gets photo excited photo excited ho jate hain and it goes to the higher energy state and then these electrons which are carried out by this photosystem <coughs> 2 by the photolysis of water is transferred to the next electron carrier that is pheophytin the first electron acceptors that is pheophytin and this photolysis of water is shown by this reaction this water molecule is broken down into four protons and four hydroxyl ion then this four hydroxyl ion will break down into water and oxygen this is the oxygen molecule which is evolved and these four electrons are channelized in this non-cyclic photophosphorylation so this is the overall reaction next the electron which are uh, accepted by this photosystem to reaction center that is p680 and these electrons are transferred to the electron acceptor that is pheophytin so this excited electrons from p680 flows down to excited state mein tha photosystem 2 ka reaction center ye apne electrons ko transfer karta hai electron carriers that is pheophytin then cyto plastokinone cytochrome b6 and plastocyanin and finally it will give it to the photosystem 1 reaction center that is p700 so it flows down an electron transport chain to an electron transport chain uh, to p700 through the pheophytin then plastokinone cytochrome complex and plastocyanin with the generation of atp jaise electron yahan se yahan transfer honge photosystem excited to uh, reaction center of photosystem 2 ka to photosystem 1 during this journey of electron atp are produced so plastocyanin jo hai ye ek copper containing protein hai which is which helps in connecting this photosystem 2 with photosystem 1 next to electron photosystem 1 accept karta hai it also gets into its excited state by absorbing and uh, light photons ko absorb kare jo photosystem 1 ka reaction center hai it goes to the excited state and transfer its electron to the next electron acceptor that is ferredoxin so elimination of photosystem 1 boost electrons to higher energy state jaise hi photosystem 1 ka reaction center light web soft karega it will trans it will gets into the excited state along with the electrons or tra transfer kar dega pass kar dega electrons through a series of carriers which includes frs that is ferredoxin re reduction system it consists of fesx fesa and fesb so this is the complex which is shown by a single ferredoxin here and finally it will give rise to uh, give these electrons to this NADP positive and reduce it into NADPH plus H positive then ferredoxin and NADP reduct reductase they finally combine with this NADP and reduce it into NADPH or H positive or these protons are water se. <coughs> so water is the source of uh, protons जो वाटर की फोटोलिसिस होती है वहां से ये प्रोटॉन्स यहां आते हैं दे आर हेल्पिंग इन रिडक्शन ऑफ दिस एनएडीपी इनटू एनएडीपीएच एच पॉजिटिव एंड दिस एनएडीपीएच पॉजिटिव एच एच पॉजिटिव विल एक्ट एज हाइड्रोजन डोनर इन द नेक्स्ट रिएक्शंस सो द नेट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ नॉन साइक्लिक फोटोफोस्फोरिलेशन इज इट हेल्प्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस एटीपी एंड एनएडीपीएच and oxygen so this is the net product of this non cyclic photophosphorylation so this is the overall <coughs> photo uh, this uh, scheme of uh, non cyclic photophosphorylation initially the electrons are produced by the photolysis of water they are carried through this uh, photosystem 2 into the higher energy state by absorbing light and they are transferred to the different electron carriers during this step when the electron moves from 
plus 2 quinone to plus 2 uh, this uh, cytochrome B complex then there is formation of this one molecule of ATP so ATP is formed here so it will produce ATP during this electron transfer then it goes to plus 2 cyanine it will transfer it to the photosystem 1 the reaction center by absorbing light it goes into the excited state and it will send it to the FRS that is ferridoxin reduction system and finally by com uh, in combination with the NADP reductase and FD these both combine with this NADP and it will convert it into NADPH which act as a proton donor in upcoming reactions. So this is all about non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Next is cyclic photophosphorylation. As its name indicate, is may jo electrons hain jahan jis reaction center se move karna shuru karte hain, they will come back to this reaction center through the series of electron uh, carriers. Or fir se ye usi reaction center pe aayenge. So that's why this is known as cyclic uh, photophosphorylation. So it involves only photosystem one firstly, or jiska reaction center hota hai P seven hundred. Is may jo electrons pass hote hain from reaction center, they return back to the same reaction center after passing through the various intermediates. So is may hum dekh sakte hain. The electrons are here move karna start karte hain. through different electron carriers they will come back to this photosystem one so that's why this is known as cyclic photophosphorylation it does not involve it does not uh, involve photolysis of water is my photolysis of water nahi hota because it don't have oec that is oxygen evolving complex is my jo ps p700 hai chlorophyll molecule reaction center of ps1 it absorbs light photon and it gets to the excited state and transfer its energy or electrons to the ferridoxin ferridoxin ko transfer karta hai, that is ferridoxin reduction system it consists of these complexes that i have already discussed and then this will transfer its electron to the cytochrome b6 during this step one atp is produced and next <coughs> it will cytochrome b6 it will transfer its electron to the cytochrome f and during this step again the atp is produced and finally to the plastocyanin and again to the reaction center uh, of photosystem one so during this transport between ferridoxin and cytochrome b6 and between cytochrome b6 and cytochrome f there is phosphorylation of one adp to form one atp so total two atp are produced during cyclic uh, photophosphorylation so thus two ATP molecules are produced uh, during this cyclic photophosphorylation. Substances which act as inhibitors of photosynthesis. For example, we have DCMU. It is an inhibitor of photosynthesis. Or its common uh, name hai, wo hai diuron. Chemically, it is 334 dichlorophenyl 11 dimethylurea. Or it is mostly used as algae site to kill algae or herbicide to uh, kill the plants unwanted plants which grows along with crop there is one additional chemical that is paraquet which is the inhibitor of photosystem one so basically jo herbicides hote hain ye affect karte hain photosystems ko so they are not able to fix light energy and plant die because of starvation next is quantum yield it is the measure of photosynthetic rate and it is also expressed in terms uh, of oxygen molecule evolved per quantum of light during the process of photosynthesis. So eight quantum of lights are needed to produce one molecule of oxygen. So the quantum yield will be one by eight, that is 0 0.125. So this is the quantum yield. Next is a very important topic that is chemiosmotic theory. This theory is related to the formation of ATP by using proton motive force. This concept was given by Peter Michel in 1960s and he got Nobel Prize for this, uh, giving this concept. This is Peter Michel's photograph. What are the postulates of this theory? Firstly, it requires intact inner mitochondrial membrane. Then electron transport through ETC generates a proton gradient. Proton gradient means proton difference in the thylakoid membrane. It occurs, it works in both mitochondria as well as in chloroplast. So currently we are discussing chloroplast. So it is related to chloroplast. So ATP synthase 
as we know this is the enzyme which helps in formation of atp from adp it catalyzes the phos uh, phosphorylation of adp in reaction driven by diffusion of protons across the inner membrane into the matrix so during this process we can see here this is the thylakoid membrane and this is the lumen of thylakoid due to this proton difference inside and outside this thylakoid it generates a proton motive force and this proton motive force activate this ATPase, ATP synthetase enzyme and this helps in conversion of this ATP into ATP. So electron flows through ETC and proton are transported from matrix into the inner membrane space and the free energy stored in the proton concentration gradient tapped as proton re-enter the matrix by ATP synthase. As a result, ATP is formed from ADP by using inorganic phosphate. So this is the structure of ATP synthetase. It has two portion. One is this C1, C1 naught. It is the basal portion which is injected with the membrane and the outer head region which is outside the membrane. Then references, I have used these references, uh, reference books like Hopkins and the, uh, this plant physiology development through this Murphy's book. And uh, I have used some internet sources and I have mentioned or used these and Ziegler plant physiology. So this is all about today's discussion. Thank you. Have a great day. If you have any questions and queries, you can ask in the comment section.